some JavaScript inside the context of your FileMaker database. But in this particular case, what we're doing is we've got a list of uh, customers, we'll call them, and each one of them has a certain amount that they've spent. This is just sort of a dummy record that we've thrown on here. A dollar value that represents the amount that they've spent with our company. And what we'd like to do is see them all plotted out in a map. That's the first thing, and that's where the Google API comes into play. But then also we'd like to be able to see them clustered. So um, to give you kind of an indi indication of how this is going to work before I reveal the map, you'll see that we've done the same thing that I've talked about in other videos. I've created a field for the two, for one for the JavaScript. This is the market G market cluster JavaScript that uh, I believe is part of the uh, Google API. Here's a link to that in case you're interested. And, um, and then of course you need the map key, so we put some fields in here for all this different stuff. And, um, and then down here I created a field for the market cluster JavaScript, so I can make any modifications in here that I'd like to. But in this case we've just got the one JavaScript file, and then we've got some functions that we have to write. So here's where we could go in and modify the API. So for example, you can see uh, in the window that shows up we can choose what information we want to see. So here's information about the amount. This is where we're talking about totaling up the amount and seeing the position on the map. So in here is where you're actually writing all your custom information. And then we're doing a, uh, a map. Uh, if you look inside the manage database, you'll see that there's a G market cluster or a map calc. And if you open up the calc, we are very simply put here, we've got some header information and then we're referencing the Google API key and right here we're referencing the field with the JavaScript in it. And then below that um, you'll see right here var calc var data calc and then we combine that with our function script. So the function script is this field basically just a text area where we can write that information and then the var calc is this so because inside of our HTML we need to see a repeating list first of all it's going to open up with var data like any variable does and then open brackets and then we're just doing a list view that's showing data from another field which I'll show you in a second and we're substituting out the paragraph returns that the list function gives us natively with uh, commas and if you look real closely, this is the sample uh, HTML. So you'll notice that um, the var, var data equals, and then you see latitude, longitude, IBM Corporation, Old Orchard Road, so on and so on, right? So inside our data, we actually create a calculation for every line or every address. We just open it up with the latitude, longitude. If you look real closely, you can see that right here, longitude, var data equals and then the open brackets so we're just emulating all this but what we're doing is we're putting in the address label the amount the record ID and then the city state and zip so you'll see that all emulated here company name the address city if there's a zip and a state and then this is the sample HTML, but we're including the amount in ours because we want to total these up. So let's see what this looks like. So the user doesn't see this. Well, this is just for development purposes, but you're over in data entry and uh, you want to see all these records clustered on a map. So you hit the map view. And here we have a web viewer uh, that you see in the middle of the screen and it's connecting with the Google API. And we see all of the different contacts plotted you see here in a cluster. So when I click on one of these clusters, a couple things are happening. What we're doing is we're drilling into the, the map zone area where we see more clusters. But if you notice what's happening over here, we're actually running a script. So we've uh, attached a script to the action of uh, clicking on a cluster. And then that'll zoom in. Not only zoom in to the uh, next cluster, which is what the API does, but what we're doing is we're grabbing all the record IDs of everything that's shown in that cluster. And the reason we're doing that is we're using this multi-key approach where 
uh, I can create a relationship back to data, and what and this portal then shows me all the different individuals uh, or contacts that are represented in this cluster. And if I want to, I can hit the Go to Related Record button, and I can see at the found set of 132. So as I continue to drill down, if we drill a little bit further here, my list is getting shorter. You can see that visually, and so are the related items as a result. So we're using the Google API's clustering capabilities, but we put in the amount instead of a count of numbers. And as we drill further, um, finally now you see we've only got three different record IDs, three different items show up on the go to related records. So this is another example of uh, the web viewer in FileMaker referencing internally stored or localized JavaScript. And in this case, we happen to use JavaScript that also uses the uh, Google API, but it's uh, something that's free. You can go and uh, get access to it. You just need to get yourself an API and register it, and uh, you can do the same thing. And all we're doing, same thing here again, is creating a calculation field that outputs the HTML and also references the JavaScript that's stored locally within this database.